Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna be attempting to do a full face of 99 cent store makeup. Um, and the one I went to didn't have a lot of stuff, but I did get a good amount of stuff, so I think it's fine. Um, some of these are actually like drugstore brands that I guess just didn't sell and so they took it to 99 cent store. So they're not all like 99 cent store brand, but yeah, let me show you guys what I got and how much they were. I am missing a few things. I'm missing like a liquid foundation, um, a blush. I don't know what else, but um, I'm gonna be using this foundation, this powder foundation. The it says CoverGirl, CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition All Day Powder Foundation. They only had this shade, which is tan golden. So I'm just gonna use this as like a bronzer because. This is the powder foundation I got for my face. Looks a little light, so hopefully the bronzing will work. And yeah, I guess let's get into it. Um, I don't remember if I said this before, but if I didn't find something, I'm just not going to use it. So let's see. Let's see how this goes. So I don't have a primer, which is great. <laughs> so I'm not going to use any primer. Um, I'm going to start with the eyes, and for the eyes, I have this Maybelline Soda Pop palette, which honestly, I kind of heard bad things about, that it was really bad, um, but it looks really, really cute. I don't know, like, it probably will be a little bit, like, patchy, but ugh, the colors are just so cute. I had to try it out. I'm just going to use my own brushes because it's going to be way too hard to try to find something else or not even use one. Cause I really do want to try to like make this work. <clears throat> so I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to dip into, I'm actually going to go into this orange, bright orange shade called crushing. And I'm going to put that in my crease. Yeah. There's a bit of fallout, but it does look a little bit pigmented. Like it is picking up a good amount of powder. So let's see how this goes. Okay, that's cute. It's bright. It's working. Okay, so that orange is definitely pigmented. And it works. So that's not bad. Okay, so then I'm going to go into the shade Cola Float. Let me find a brush. Yeah, this palette is very, 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 very... You see that? You see all those particles? There's there's a lot. There's a lot of pigment in this, so. I don't know which sparkle I want to use. I guess I will just be doing this one, Soda Fizz. Which is like a really pretty metallic. Ooh. That's pretty. Okay, that's a gorgeous metallic. It's a little bit darker than I thought it would be. It definitely came out a little bit darker on the lid. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I'll blend that out and try to make it work. Actually, I'm just gonna go in with this shade. It's just like a normal silver champagne shade. I'm gonna put that on the lid. 
on top of goldy color that I used. Yeah, that's pretty. That's really pretty on top of this glitter. So it kind of creates like this gradient. I like that. Well, this wasn't as much of a fail as I thought. Um, probably the more like purpley and red colors would probably be a little bit hard to work with. But that wasn't that bad. So I think I'm going to keep this one. Now I will do eyeliner. I just got this little LA Colors Auto Eyeliner. And it's in the shade black brown. So cool. I'm going to try to do... Just like a little top liner, nothing too crazy. You know what? This is kind of really good for when you want like a smoky liner because it's not like super, super pigmented. So it's not going to like make a super blunt line. And it does kind of give you that cute, like smoked out look. So I kind of like this. Next, I will do this foundation powder, which looks much too light for me. Well, let's try it. I'm gonna use this brush. It looks like a normal like powder brush. Let me see which, yeah, I think I'll just use the big one. And this is in the shade, um, actually I think this was the only shade that they have. So, yeah, sorry. You can see powder coming off, but it's not. not oh it's very pale that's very pale yeah it has absolutely no pigment it's really pale but it has no pigment so i guess that's a good thing but um yeah i definitely won't be keeping this so goodbye um i will now conceal maybe i'll try to use the concealer as like my face base let's try it i don't know this looks pretty light and peachy, so let's see what happens. Oh. Oh. It's very peachy. I don't know why I'm putting it on my whole face, but... Let's see how it blends out. It feels pretty thin. So... Let's see. I don't really know how to use this shape. The one I have is a different shape, but let's see. I'm gonna fold it like this. Just use it like this. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's light. <sighs> but this is definitely not my shade. It is blending pretty well, though. I like, I like the finish of the blend. I just don't know why I'm trying to use this on my face because it's very light. Okay, surprisingly on camera, it doesn't look that bad. Obviously it looks pale, but it's not super bad. And we do still need to bronze, so maybe that'll help. Okay, so let's bronze. I'm gonna use, hmm, I'm gonna use the big brush. And I'm gonna dip right into this CoverGirl powder foundation. Okay, this is pigmented as well. Obviously it's darker, so it's not, like it's actually gonna show up. Let's see how it works as a bronzing color. It's a little orange. No, it's very orange. Okay, yeah. I really thought that this was gonna help the face. No, I think I just put this one like in a weird spot. This one doesn't look as bad. I'm gonna use this smaller. Does that already have powder on it? Or is it just like dust? 
That's gross. It's very soft. The brush smells weird too. I don't like that. I'm scared now. Um, okay, so next, um, I guess I'll do brows. Um, this is what I got for brows, just a pencil with a little brush like this on it, the end. This is in the shade medium, medium, medium brown. Because the other ones were kind of like really dark, so I think this one will be fine. Hold on. Oh, that's... It's kind of rough. It's not... It's not creamy or soft at all. It feels like a colored pencil. Okay, this is starting to hurt. Um, yeah. You can use this to color in your coloring book. I don't think you can use it to color in your eyebrows. Okay, that's the brows, I guess. Oh, highlight. So I have this little highlight duo, which looks kind of questionable because one side is more of like a warm champagne, this side. And then this side, you can't really tell. It's very light, but it kind of has like a lavender champagne tint i think i'll mix them yeah i'm gonna use a smaller brush and i'm gonna mix them and put it on my wherever i want to highlight i guess it works it works as a highlight there's not much i can say i mean i feel like you can't really go wrong with highlight even if you have like a super high brand one if you apply too much it's gonna look stupid so I don't think this is that bad. For sure, if you're in a pinch and you really, really, really want some highlight, really fast and really cheap, this will work. Especially mixed together. It just kind of gives you a nice, it's cute, it's fine. And then, Yes, last but not least we will do lips um this is by the brand color spell but as i look at it a little bit closer it has very manny mua lunar beauty vibes like look at that it has like the star in the moon this looks like his like lipstick packaging i don't know if he has liner but this is in the peachy shade so I will line my lips. This is, oh, this is not gonna match at all. This is like a bright pink peach and this is like a nude. <sighs> Pray for my lips. Okay, so the lip liner itself is pretty creamy and goes on pretty well. It's just a very bright, like neon coral peach. Okay. Let's put on the ultra matte lip cream this could be promising because the shade is really pretty oh Ooh, it smells like gasoline i don't think you're supposed to put gasoline on your lips but let's do it anyways oh my god yeah this is absolutely not a match i don't know why y'all put this bright coral Lip liner with a super light pink nude lip. Oh my god. Oh my god, it smells so bad. Uh, uh. Oh, it tastes like gas. Mm, cute. Alright. So, goodbye. So, <laughs> this is the finished look, guys. So pretty. Um, probably the best thing was the eyeshadow palette. So if you want to buy that, go ahead. The lips, absolutely not. Oh my god. Did you see that? Um, bronzer, not it. Highlight, cute. Eyebrows, way too hard. Don't buy it. Um, the concealer. Hmm. 
the coverage is all right it's just that the shade is way too light so yeah but yeah that's the face and then here's the lips again here let's do this again oh god i hate that let's see if it transfers it doesn't transfer and that's why it smells like gasoline it's probably made of gasoline that doesn't move that's the end of this video um i hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this and kind of torture myself a bit um if you recreate this makeup look let me know tag my instagram anything like that um if you guys like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you want to leave any comments about anything that i used in this video go ahead and leave it down below and if you want to see more of me using these weird products um go ahead and subscribe and you will see me again and we will have a fun time ruining our skin so yeah i will see you guys next time bye <laughs>